In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money with ClickBank using System.io. This is a free method that works together with System.io and ClickBank. And by the end of the tutorial, you'll know how to choose a good ClickBank product. You'll have your landing page set up, ready to collect emails. You'll have your thank you page set up that redirects to your affiliate offer. You'll have automated daily emails set up that will encourage your subscribers to purchase your products on the back end. And I'm also going to show you a super quick way to create a professional lead magnet to entice people to opt into your email list. And you can do all this using the free plan of System.io. So if you need to sign up for a free plan, then I've left the link in the description below this video. Now the free plan is free forever and you don't even need a credit card to sign up for it. And when the time comes and you want to upgrade to a paid plan, then come back to this video because I've left another link in the description that will give you 40% off your System.io account. So the first thing we need to do is find a ClickBank product that we want to promote. So head over to clickbank.com and if you don't already have an affiliate account, then you can sign up down here. It's free to sign up. You'll be asked a few questions, but they pretty much accept anybody. They don't give a sh Then once you're logged into ClickBank, head over to the ClickBank Marketplace and you can browse by category along the top here, or you can click on this tab here, all, and find loads more categories. So for example, if you're working in the health niche, then come down here to health and fitness, and you can now start to search all different products under the health and fitness category. And if you want to particularly find a product that's in a particular sub niche of health, then there's a few more subcategories within the health niche in the sidebar here. But just to save time for this video, I'm going to look for a product within the general health niche. Now, what's really important is you want to make sure that you're not promoting a crappy product that just doesn't convert very well. So if we come over to this drop down menu here and select gravity high to low. So gravity is ClickBank's own unique metric and it basically indicates how well that product's selling. So the higher the gravity score, the more sales are being made of that product. If you see a gravity score of zero, like this one here, it just means that product hasn't sold recently. So you generally want to avoid those. Now this particular product is a sponsored listing, which means that the product owner has paid to be at the top here. So the actual real results in terms of sorted by gravity starts here. And the gravity score here is 553.56, which is absolutely huge. So this means that this product is selling extremely well at the moment. It's a really, really popular product. Now you don't generally need to look for a product with a gravity score as high as this, but generally for myself, I like to look for gravity scores that are at least 20 or higher. However, having said that, there's some products I've promoted in the past that only had a gravity score of 10 and they converted really well for me just because I had very targeted traffic for those particular products. So now this product here, as we can see, it's selling very, very well. It will give you an average sale of around about $148 for your commission per sale on average. And there's also a rebuild option here, which can mean that you can earn an additional $15.65 every time the customer continues to use this product. So if you want to have a look at this product, you can look at the landing page by clicking on the name of the product. So as we can see, this product is a health supplement. So each time the person buys the product again, this is where you get the recurring commission as well on top of your initial commission for the sale. So on this page, it lists all the top ClickBank products in the health category via by gravity. And there's pages and pages for you to look through here. This one, Ikaria Juice. So there's no rebel with this one, but the commission is $138 for the sale. And if we look at the product, so again, this is gonna be a supplement. So this is a juicing powder to help people lose weight. So if we go back to the listing here, you can also see the affiliate page. Now on the affiliate page, there's usually a lot of resources for affiliates to use. So this is really, really helpful. And it's one of the signs to look for to make sure you're working with a good product owner if they provide the affiliates with lots of tools to help promote the product, which this one clearly does. So they give you insights on demographics, copy ideas, email creative, images and so on. They say they've got a professionally done VSL, which is a video sales letter, which is great. Generally good VSLs can convert very well. And down here, they give you a lot of copy ideas. There's some images you can use as well. And they also give you email swipes as well, which is excellent. So these are pre-written, professionally written email templates that you can use to send out to your list to help you promote the product on the back end. So, so far overall, I'm liking the look at this product. So let's just go with this one for the sake of this video. So now we've chosen our product, next thing to do is to log into System.io, then head over to Funnels and we set up our affiliate bridge page funnel. So on the funnel page, click Create, and now you're given four options here, which is build an audience, sell, custom, or run an evergreen webinar. So for this type of funnel, we're gonna choose build an audience and we need to give it a name. So I'm just gonna name it whatever the product was called. So it's called Ikaria. So I'll call it a courier. And now this doesn't really apply the currency because I'm not actually taking payments myself. It's an affiliate product. I'm only sending traffic to the affiliate offer. So you can just ignore this. I click save. And now the funnel will be created at the top. Now click on the name of the funnel. And now here in the left-hand side menu, we can see we've got two pages 
ready for us already set up. So the first is the squeeze page, which is also known as the landing page. And the second is the thank you page. And we can use that as a bridge page to promote our affiliate offer. So we want to make sure we're on the squeeze page, which is the landing page. And now here, system.io gives us a lot of funnel templates to choose from. Now, some of the templates are specifically for websites, whereas others are more appropriate for funnels. So if I look through, I want to choose quite a basic landing page to start with, because all we're going to be doing is we're going to be offering a lead magnet in exchange for an email. So we want that page to be as simple as possible with as few distractions as possible. So for example, I'm going to choose this one. So if I select the template, now that template is selected in order to edit the page, come over to edit page. Now this will open me up into the editor and this is what the page currently looks like. So this is where we have our headline, our picture of our lead magnet and a place for our subscribers to opt in. Let's have a look what else is on the page. Now all this stuff I generally don't want because I want to make this as simple as possible. So first of all, if I come back up to the top, I want to get rid of this menu bar at the top here. I don't want this. So if you hover over any of these elements, you'll see another menu that will open up here and I hit the trash can icon to delete this whole row. And now that's gone. Now if I scroll down, I'm also going to delete all these other sections below here as well. So I don't want any of this. I'll delete this one as well. And also this one here. Now, if you want to go back a step, that's no worries. If you delete something you didn't want to delete, just hit the back button here and that will bring you back a step. So it's going to take that away. Now, this is what we've got to work with. So the next thing we want to do is create a lead magnet, something we can give away for free in exchange for a person's email address. Now, this doesn't have to be massive or doesn't have to be something that costs you a lot of money or a lot of time to create. It could be something like a simple checklist or a cheat sheet. Ebooks work really well. Or it could also be a video you create for yourself or just some ideas that you can use for lead magnets. So for this funnel, I'm going to use an ebook. Now, I'm definitely not going to write it myself. I'm going to use AI to write it for me. Now, the best AI tool I've found for writing ebooks is this one called Designer. Way better than just using ChatGPT by itself. Designer can completely write your whole ebook for you or if you already had your content written like it was in a Word doc, you can import that content into your ebook for you or it can even transcribe blog posts into your ebook. It can transcribe podcasts and it can even transcribe whole YouTube videos and pull all these still images from the video into your ebook and make a whole ebook for you. And then once that's done, Designer will even create a cover for you as well and an e-cover that you can use to professionally display your ebook on your landing page. And if you want to turn your ebook into an audio book, then Designer can also do that for you as well. So this is why I like using Designer. It's got loads of cool features and it can really save you a ton of time. Now you don't have to use this tool if you don't want to. If you just want to create a simple checklist or a cheat sheet, then you can do that for free in a tool like Canva. And that can also work really well as a lead magnet. However, if you're creating an ebook, then I do highly recommend you use this tool. Otherwise you'd have to combine ChatGPT with Canva, which you can do. I've got another video on my channel that shows you how to do that, but it's very, very slow and time consuming. Now, just to let you know, if you do want to use this tool, and I'm afraid it's not free, if you just come to the pricing page on Designer, you'll see that the plans start at $29 per month. However, I have a special link that gives you a lifetime access to this standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. So if you do want to use that, this was a page that you'd come to. The link is in the description below this video. And you can get lifetime access to the standard plan here for one time payment of $27. So if you do want to use ebooks and you also want to sell ebooks online and make all your books and things like that, then this is a no brainer offer. So once you logged into Designer, you'll see various options to start to create your ebook, or you can create an audio book up here. But because I want to get designers to write the ebook for me, I'm going to choose this option, which is Word Genie. So Word Genie is combined with ChatGPT, and it will write your ebook for you. So you first just got to tell Word Genie a little bit about your project you're working on. So the topic or niche is going to be weight loss. And want it in the English language. Go to next. And here, where Genie wants you to add a theme. So if I scroll down, I'm going to choose something related to health. So health and wellness. And next. So now where Genie is suggesting a few subtopics or asking if you're particularly in like the keto diet or intermittent fasting or weight loss or post-pregnancy. I'm just going to stick with general weight loss for now and then go to next. Now you have to tell where Genie your target audience. And now we're genius suggesting a few titles for me. So I like this one here, Lean Belly Blueprint, a step-by-step -step guide to losing stubborn fat. So I'm gonna select that, go to next. And now we're genius come up with an article outline for us and you can either regenerate if you don't like it or you can just continue hit next. And now we're genius starting to write all the content for me. So this step takes a few minutes, so I can leave this running and go and make a cup of tea. Now designers finished writing the ebook for us, so I'm gonna continue to choose a template. And now I'm gonna choose a template, I'm just gonna pick this one. Now Designer is going to pull that into an editor for me. And Designer also lays that with an interactive menu that will jump the reader to whatever section is in the ebook. So of course you can change anything you want about this ebook, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to publish and move on to the next step. I'm going to publish it as a PDF. And now I can download my PDF file. So here's my ebook. 
And now I'm gonna go back to the main page in Designer and here's my book and I'm just gonna go and create a 3D mock-up cover that we can use for our landing page. So quite like the look of this one. I select this and Designer's automatically gonna create that e-cover for me. So here's our e-cover. We're gonna use on our landing page to display our lead magnet. Save this image and that's downloaded to my computer. Now we're gonna head back over to our landing page in System. Now let's change this image. If I click on the image, and then you'll see the menu bar changes from the left-hand side here. Now here where it says Image File, this is where I can upload my e-cover for my ebook. So I click on Cloud Icon, can open my download folder and drop the file in. And then I'm gonna select and insert. There we go. So far, so good. Now I'm just gonna change my title, something like that. And you can just change the size of this in the menu bar here. So let's go pull that down a little bit and adjust the spacing. I'm gonna change this text underneath. I'm just going to move this background image. I don't really like that. So if you click on the actual background image itself and then from the sidebar, you'll see background image. And this is the background image that's pulled in here. So I'm just going to click on X just to remove that. And of course, if you want to upload a different background image, you can just upload it here. Exactly the same way I just showed you how you can upload your e-cover for the ebook. Same thing. But I'm going to leave it like this for now. So at the moment, this opt-in form is only collecting email addresses, but I'd also like to collect the first name of the subscriber as well. So if you come back to elements and then choose the form input field and drag it over just above the email field. Now here, if we select this particular form field, and now here at the top, it says input type. So we're gonna choose first name and the placeholder says first name here. So you can change that, to say whatever you want. And if you want to make this field optional, you can just tick this box here, which means the subscriber doesn't need to enter their name if they don't want to. So I'm just going to space them out a bit. So I come down to uh, margin and move the bottom margin down a little bit. So that separates the form fields a little bit. It just looks a bit more tidy. And I'm actually going to bring that up a little bit at the top as well, just to bring it closer to my heading and subheading. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger, just make it stand out a bit. And there you go, so that's your basic landing page setup. Now, of course, you can change any of this just as I showed you, but I'm not going to do that for now, just to save time in this video. I'm going to click Save Changes. And now, if you just want to preview your landing page, you can click on the eye icon here, and this is what the landing page is going to look like. Of course, it won't have this yellow bar at the top because the page is not live yet. That's why it's showing that. Now, just something to be aware of, if you're using the free plan of System.io, you can do everything I'm showing you in the free plan, and you can absolutely use this to get your affiliate business rolling. But on the free plan, all of your pages are going to have this powered by System.io in the bottom corner here the logo so if you don't mind that then that's fine but if you want to get rid of that you're going to need to upgrade to a paid plan but as i mentioned before earlier as and when you feel it's the right time for you to do that there is a 40 percent off link in the description below this video so now that's the landing page set up next thing we need to do is go back to the main menu of our funnel and we want to select the thank you page so we need to set the thank you page up which is also going to serve as our bridge page where we can first offer the affiliate products to our subscriber so again for an affiliate funnel i want a quite a simple style thank you page and you can look through all the options and let me see i'm going to choose this one here so if i select the template it's going to pull it into the editor for me so again i'm on the thank you page now I go to edit page and now here is where we can see our thank you page and this is exactly what we want just a really simple basic page like this we're gonna have a headline subheading and a video now you don't have to have a video if you don't want to however recording a short one to three minute video of yourself introducing your affiliate product which in our case is going to be this one here the Akira Lean Belly Juice that generally tends to work really well however like I said if you don't want to be on the video sometimes the product owner will provide videos for you that you can use in that case you can just download the video from the affiliate resources page and upload the video to here. So if you did want to do that, all you need to do is once you've downloaded the video from the affiliate resource page, you just click on the video that's already in the page because the video element is already here for you. And then here where it says URL, this is where you can upload the video. So if the video is on YouTube, you'd select direct link and copy the YouTube video URL in here. Or if you actually downloaded the video as a video file to your computer, you'd select this option, upload file, and then you'd go to this little cloud icon and then drag and drop the video file in here. So that's basically how that would work. But for this particular product, unfortunately, they don't give me any videos to use. However, what they do do is they've given me some images that look like videos. So I'm going to choose this one here. So I download this to my computer and then I'll come back to my bridge page. I'm going to delete this video element and then I'm going to pull in an image element, pull that back in the same place. And then if I select that image element, then at the top here where it says image file, I click on the cloud icon. Then I'm going to open my download folder and drag in that image and then select the image and insert. So now what I wanna do is I wanna link this image to my affiliate link as well as the button. So I go back to the affiliate resource page and 
Now here is where I can generate my affiliate link. Now of course you can also do this on the page here. But I've already checked that this link that the ClickBank Marketplace gives me, it only gives me the link to the sales page that's got no VSL, video sales letter on it. I don't like that so much. But if we're actually on the affiliate resource page for this product, as I showed you the affiliate resource pages here, if I scroll down to this section, generate my hop link, I can actually get multiple options for landing pages I want to send the visitor to. And the default VSL, the video sales letter, is a much, much better page, in my opinion. So I enter my ClickBank ID here, and I'm just going to agree to the term of service, generate link. Now here's my link, and let me show you what this page looks like. Now this is the page you'll be sending traffic to, and generally speaking, I've found that pages with a video sales letter like this work way much better for conversions. So this is the link that I'm going to want to use. So I've copied my link, and then come back to my bridge page. Now I've selected my image and so we can see here in the sidebar, it says action when image clicked and I've selected open URL. And now here underneath is where I paste in our URL, our affiliate link, and here I'm gonna open in a new window. Okay, so that is done. So I'm just gonna change these headings around slightly. So I'm gonna switch the small one up to the top. I'm just gonna change it to say, Thanks for subscribing. Your ebook will arrive in your inbox in 15 minutes. So of course, they've just come from our landing page to the bridge page. So this is the first thing they'll see. And then we want our headline to get them to watch the video. So if we go back to the affiliate page, I quite like the title here. I'm gonna put something similar to this on our bridge page. So I'm gonna copy this heading, I'm gonna drop that in. And I'm just gonna enter weird fizzy juice at the start. And they've also put 62 in red. I'm gonna do the same thing, 62 pounds. So I'm gonna change the color here and select red. And I'm gonna also add to the headline, weird fizzy juice to solve 62 pounds of shocking fat. Watch the video now to learn the secret. And it's gonna make this a bit smaller. Okay, so I quite like that. Bring that down a bit. Now I'm gonna delete this here, and then I'm gonna bring this down a bit. So I'm gonna select this. This is a bit too close to the video now. So I select this and go to margin and I'm just going to move that down a bit and I'm going to write something like or click the button below to learn more so that's also going to be my affiliate link so I'm going to come back to the video grab my affiliate link or so come back to the image rather grab my affiliate link and then select the button and then in the button options you can see here action when button clicked it's open url here is our url paste it in here open it in a new window and mark that as no follow and here where it says button text, you can change what it says in the button. And I also don't want that Facebook icon as well. So scroll down and click on the remove button here to get rid of that. And I'm also gonna change the color just to make it something more, that pops a bit more. Okay, so now that's basically our bridge page set up. I'd also get rid of this menu, don't want this. So I give the person as least options as possible except for to watch our video. Or in this case, it's actually just click the image and then they'll be redirected to our affiliate page. So if I click on save changes and now go to the eye icon, we're gonna have a look at our page. So this is what it looks like. So let's just test it out, see if it works. Click on the image and we're redirected to our affiliate link and same for the button as well. So that's all working correctly. So now what we need to do is come back to our funnel steps and we need to go back to our landing page, which is the squeeze page, go to edit page, and then we want to adjust the settings on this button. So it's already set to go to the next step once a person clicks this button and the next step is our thank you page. So that's all good. But we also want to make sure that we're collecting the email address and adding the subscribers to our campaign then sending them automated emails each day to follow up to entice them to buy the products and any other products related to weight loss that we want to promote to them. So, so far this is all correct. So you want it to say submit form and you want the next drop down below to redirect the contacts to the next step. So this is all good. So I'm gonna save changes and then I'm gonna exit and go back to the funnel steps. And now from here, what we wanna do is go to emails and campaigns. So we need to now set up a campaign. So I'm gonna create new. So a campaign is a like an autoresponder, like a series of emails. So I'm gonna name the campaign the same as the product and click save and then click on my new campaign and click create. Now here is where we can start to add emails. So the first email is going to be delivering our ebook. So I'm going to say something like, here's your free ebook. And I want to be on the classic editor. And now here is where we can write our content for our email. So since we've already collected the person's name on the opt-in form, it's always good to use the first name here. So from where it says the substitute, click on first name, and it will drop this substitute in here. So that way, whatever the person's name is, 
system is going to name the person by their first name. It just makes your emails much more personable. So I'll actually write something a lot more than this, something a bit more interesting. But just for an example, I've written, uh, thanks for subscribing. Here's your fat burning ebook. So now what we want to do is we want to link this to our ebook. So they will receive that ebook via this first email and they can click the link and download it. So in order to do that, it's going to go back to where my ebook was. I'm going to download the ebook to my own computer. And I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm going to host that ebook in my own Google Drive account, which of course is free. And now here from the menu for the ebook, if we select share and then if I click on share again, now here we want to give access to anyone with the link. And now we copy the link. Now here we can come back to our email and now highlight the text you want to hyperlink and then drop the link in here for our ebook and then click save. And now I'm going to go save and publish. Now, if we leave this set to zero days, this means that this email will be sent as soon as the person opts into our list. So it'll be sent instantly. Now we go to exit. And now we'll see our first email is set up here. Now for our next emails, we come back to the resource page for the product. And if we scroll down, we'll see that the product owner has given us access to email swipes. So these are pre-written emails for us to help us sell that book so or sell the product. So here's email one and there's email two and three and so on. There's, there's even images as well. So for email one, they've given us a few subject lines to choose from. I'm going to choose this, grab this one, come back to my campaign and then click on again, create to create our next email, paste in my subject line here and then save. And now it's going to grab the content. Now I'm not going to actually add the image right now, but I'm just going to copy all the content over drag this in. Oh, it automatically pulled the image in for me. Fine. So that saves me a step. And then I'm just going to write, Hey, and put the first name in again. So we're going to make sure all the text is the same size. And then here is where we put our affiliate link. So again, come back and grab our affiliate link. And this is the text we are going to hyperlink with our affiliate link. And also just a little tip, it's also really helpful to link your images as well with your affiliate links. Quite often people do click on the images. So now we click save and publish. Now it's going to ask us when to send this email. So if we select from this drop down here, the subject line of our first email is going to be there. So if we select the subject line of the first email, so this now says this email will be sent after the first email with a delay of, and I'm going to put like one day. So now this will go out at the same time they subscribed. So if they subscribed on three o'clock on Tuesday, now the first email will go out then. Now the second email will go out on three o'clock on Wednesday. Activate and save and now exit. And now here we've got our first two emails set up and then you can just rinse and repeat the process. So you can go back and get email two and then email three and so on and line them all up in your campaign. So now what we need to do is link this campaign to our funnel. So let's go back to funnels, choose our funnel and on the squeeze page, the landing page where the opt-in form is, we're going to go to edit. Oh, actually, no, let's go back. Sorry, that's not correct. So we're actually on the squeeze page, the landing page. We want to come to automation rules and then we need to go to add a rule. And then we choose this one here, funnel step form subscribed. And now from here, we need to click on our rule. And then here we now we see we've got this other option here to add an action. So we select add an action and we check this one, subscribe to campaign. And now we have this drop down here to choose your campaign. And the campaign we want is the one we just set up. So for this product, I've named it Acaria, which is named the product we're promoting for this particular funnel. Save rule. And now we are good to go. So all of this should be set up and working. So now let's go to our funnel step. And so here's our landing page we set up. If we test this out, I'm gonna enter my name, I'm gonna enter an email, click on send me the ebook. Now I'm redirected to the thank you page. And now here they're told that their ebook will be delivered in so ebook inbox in 15 minutes. That gives them a chance to watch our video. If they were to click on what looks like a video, they're taken to the affiliate offer where they can actually watch the real video. And same again, also if they chose to click the button instead, they're also taken to the same page. And now if we go and look in our campaigns, we'll see there's an email that's been subscribed to this campaign. Well, it's actually been two because I tested this out already. So now we can see that everything is set up and working. And now all that's left for you to do is to drive traffic to your landing page here. Now I'm not going to go into that in this video, but there's various ways you can do it. For example, you can use platforms like uh, TikTok or you can make YouTube videos. Instagram Reels could work well, Twitter and so on. Now, one of the most effective ways that affiliates are driving a lot of traffic to offers at the moment for free is on TikTok. 
Now, if you wanna know how to effectively use TikTok to make money with affiliate marketing, now I've linked up to another resource below this video, which is a TikTok course that will cost you just $1 to get access to. So if you wanna learn a solid TikTok method for affiliate marketing, then you can check out that link in the description. Now, if you wanna get access to five of my done for you funnel templates for affiliate marketing for free, then this is the next video that you wanna watch. And if you wanna know how to build a course in system.io complete from start to finish with nothing left out, then this is the next video you wanna watch.